How do you respond to a Jehovah's Witness at your door? Oh, sorry, mate. No, uh, I go to the Baptist church. Bye. What, you lot? You're a cult. That's what you are. You're a cult. Get lost. What, you lot again? Get off my property. Go on, get before I set the dogs on you. Go! Ooh, oh, darlings, I'm not interested. I'm simply not interested. Go knock on someone else's door. One day, when I was a young man, I was with my dad working on the car. I was trying to be helpful. Hey, Dad, is this a spanner or a wrench? I think I was failing. Hey, Dad, is it clockwise to loosen or anti-clockwise? When suddenly some people came up from behind, an old man and woman, well-dressed with leather briefcases. I say your garden's looking good. Oh, thanks. <laughs> Can I help you? We're Bible students. But straight away, I could tell that they were Jehovah's Witnesses. I can see you are Jehovah's Witnesses, and I'd be happy to talk to you. In fact, I'd love to talk to you. But th at the moment, my dad and I are, are busy fixing the car. So how about you give me your address, and tomorrow, I'd be happy to come around and, and talk with you. You see, I love talking to people about Jesus. And the Bible says... Always be prepared to give an answer to everyone who asks you to give the reason for the hope that you have. But do this with gentleness and respect. They looked at me with unbelief. Uh, tomorrow I'll be attending church. It's the one over the road. But I'll be free after lunch. How about I drop in around 2pm? So they gave me their addresses. And with that they walked off and I went back to help my dad. Are you really going to visit them? Yeah. Do you know what they believe? Sure. They talk about Jesus, the Bible and salvation. But what they mean is something completely different. To them, Jesus is not God. He did not have a bodily resurrection. They have come up with their own translation of the Bible in an attempt to remove the references of Jesus' divinity. And for them, salvation is all about what they have to do rather than what Jesus has done for them. So how are you going to talk to them without getting into an argument? Well, first, I'll listen to them. Who knows what I might learn? And then I hope to tell them about the Jesus that I know. You may be surprised by the reception you get. Remember, they're trained to speak to us and to argue their point of view. Now, pass me the Phillips head screwdriver. Is that the one with the flat end or the, or the crossed end? As you may have gathered by my other stories, I would go out of my way to talk to someone about the Lord Jesus. So when someone comes to my door, why would I turn them away? And besides, the Bible says, always be prepared to give an answer to everyone who asks you to give the reason for the hope that you have but do this with gentleness and respect. So true to my word, I turned up to their address and was warmly invited in. They said, Well, we've never had a Baptist visit us before. Well, what was it the uh, other day that you wanted to tell me? And so for the next 40 minutes, I listened to the message that they had been giving people that day. It finished with an invitation to study the Bible with them. Thanks for your message. But the Jesus that I know seems very different to the one you talk about. May I tell you about him? I will not have any blasphemy spoken in my house. You may now leave. Well, that doesn't seem very fair. The door is this way. <clears throat> As I walked home, I thought that really the reaction I got was like the reaction that they had probably received from many of my church friends. Oh, sorry, mate. No, uh, I go to the Baptist church. Bye. What, you lot? You're a cult. That's what you are. You're a cult. Get lost. What, you lot again? Get off my property. Go on, get before I set the dogs on you. Go. Ooh, oh, darlings, I'm not interested. I'm simply not interested. Do knock on someone else's door. So now I knew how it felt. If you saw a blind man having trouble navigating the street... What would you do? Would you say, why do you keep walking into the gardens and onto the road? What, are you stupid? 
No, you'd speak to them with gentleness and respect. You'd invite them to take your arm and get them back on track. So it should be with anyone who does not see Jesus as we do. Just like the Bible says, Always be prepared to give an answer to everyone who asks you to give the reason for the hope that you have. But do this with gentleness and respect. Jehovah's Witnesses are told that Christians are closed-minded and are not interested in the truth. I wonder what they would think if every time they came across a Christian, they found someone who spoke to them with gentleness and respect and demonstrated to them that they were interested in the truth. So how will you respond next time a Jehovah's Witness comes to your door? If you like this message, or even if you didn't, say so in the comments below. And feel free to subscribe. Otherwise, we'll be knocking at your door. <laughs> God bless and show God's love by treating all people with gentleness and respect.